Hello America. This is G. As a nation, and as a nation I mean America, which is the world, the rest of you can f*** off. As a nation, we're falling behind. We, uh, we're getting beat. In the maths. In the sciences. And in the language arts. And G is here to help. In G's, uh, new 372 volume, uh, tutoring set. Book learning with G. It's really, it's a, it's a, it's not a complex system. Um, really what happens is I, 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 I teach people to learn the way that G learns, which is the right way. So what you do is first is you take the book, right? Take the book and put it under your pillow. And then you get really drunk and you pass out. And when you pass out all the boozicles from your head, they go through the pillow and into the book and they pull out the knowledge. They just pull the knowledge right into your skull. And when you wake up, you're smart. Just a, a, a household tip from G. Uh, when you do that, it, it normally helps to do it with hard liquor. If you do it, if you do it with beer, you just pee too much. And um, the problem is that you can pull it out. You can pull it out when you're, you're drinking beer. But when you wet yourself, what you're gonna do? Let's face it, you're gonna wet yourself. You wake up, and then you're in the pool of your own urine, and you only got to have the book. So you have to do it all over again the next night, and you're probably gonna do it with an extra bleed, because you know you're classy like that. Today I'm gonna focus on one thing that Americans are very good at, and that's history. I am going to teach you the history of uh, something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that's the New Deal. G is related to FDR, well not actually FDR, um, G's great-grandfather once yelled at FDR at a rally in Poughkeepsie. Um, I believe he called him, uh, let's see, what was, what was his exact words? Uh, get off the stage, you stupid cripple. I'm not condoning him, okay? They're my genes, not my words. My genes... Not my words, okay? I wouldn't put that down on the test. Uh, the AP history folks don't like it when you call FDR a cripple. I know from experience. Oh, I mean, I mean, I know from my uncle's grandfather's. I didn't say that, okay? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We good now? Great. Okay. Anyway, the New Deal. What it was was FDR was sitting around his house. Uh, Eleanor wasn't there because she was out playing polo or or sleeping with ladies, or whatever it was she did. And uh, FDR's like, hey, hey, I can't deal all these cards. I've got too many cards. Because the Hoyle people had stopped over at the White House the day before, and they dumped like 50,000 packs of playing cards all on the White House lawn. And FDR's like, I can't pick all these up. I'm in a wheelchair. This is bullshit. I had to lay off half my staff, because Hoover was a douchebag. No, no, I, got, I need a new deal. I need a new deal right to flip now. And so what he did was this. There was an unemployment rate of a lot percent in America then. And he's like, hey, America, come down to the White House and pick up some cards. It's like we need to pick up, but for freedom. So everyone came down to the White House and picked up some cards and brought them back to where they were from. And they started casinos. And there were thousands of New Deal casinos that started up. It was actually a federal law that all of these casinos had to have uh, either naked ladies or dogs playing poker somewhere on the signage. There was a bit of a rebellion in uh, at Connecticut. They didn't want to put the naked ladies or the dogs playing poker. Uh, they, they, they really, they wanted to put for some reason a big coat of arms with nothing but loons. Um, I don't know what that was about, but uh, FDR put a stop to that. He actually put in the National Guard and, uh, and, and, that, and that's why Connecticut was bombed. In 1932. Little known fact, they try to keep it out of the history books, but no, uh, Connecticut was carpet bombed by the US government. Gee's great 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 grandfather was there, he did some of the bombing. He told us great stories about that. Now they ran and ran on fire, oh, it was great. Back to the New Deal. Prostitution flourished, and pretty soon unemployment was down to 0.2%. Those 0.2% were just the men and women who were too ugly to hoard themselves out, um, and, and too broke to buy hookers. It wasn't many, but they were a sad lot. They became communists, and we euthanized them all. But uh, it was very successful, and I don't understand today where people are talking about we don't like the New Deal, we don't like big government in our lives, you know. I like big government in my lives, because big government gives me big gambling and big booty ladies to come in and sleep with G. Because that's the American way. It's the American way because I know, because we went to about 50 different countries after that and just gave a lot of people syphilis. Thailand, I'm sorry, Vietnam, Korea, uh, pretty much all of Africa. We're sorry. We thought we were tested. We were not. 
I was actually, there was one time when I was in Kuala Lumpur on, on duty and I was sleeping with a, 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 a one-legged prostitute named Rosebud. And uh, she came up the stairs one day and she was like, hey, I we're all out of lube. So I said, that is a stupid new deal. I don't even know what the hell that is all about. What? Gee, for the love of God, how many times do I have to constantly...